The Group 2 Cleve Hurdle will kick things off then on the penultimate week before the Cheltenham Festival and it's a three mile Grade 2 Hurdle at Cheltenham that we start with. It's time capture at the top for Leon Van Rensburg, Raphael Amarlet for Craig Allen, Splish Splash Joshua Sutherland, a Fleet Lipped, James Shea, Christopher Burner, Ryan Costello, Eaton Mess, Ryan Talasevi, Hazel Rig Hawker, Darren Thompson, Jumping Jack Flash for Paul Rhodes, La Paz Midnight for Vinnie Gerrard, Live in the Moment, David Hooney, Redwood Edition, David Robertson, Scorched Earth, Leon Van Rensburg, Cloud Mambo, Craig Allen, Compact Bonnie, James Shea, Hauling jewels for David Robertson, stay alert for David Hooley, and worlds on fire for Joshua Sutherland. So 17 of them then probably all be back next week to compete against each other again. And let's see what happens today. Away they go. And making their way down towards the first of the flights of hurdles in this grade two cleave hurdle and they get to it with live in the moment the leader and they skip over the first flight they've got 11 more to take and live in the moment is in the lead from splish splash in second the gray closest to us is hazel reef hawker the one in the green just going past that one is jumping jack flash the second of the horses in purple is stay alert and they get to the second and they're all safely over that one with looking towards the back it's just about redwood edition the back marker but live in the moment's got about four clear making away towards the third flight then with jumping jack flash back in second and splish splash third as they get over the third and they're all safely over that one with a fleet lip the new back marker but it's living the moment racing up hill in the lead then with jumping jack flash on the inside about five lengths down in second then splish splash is third and hazel rehawker is four the past midnight's moved through into fifth then comes stay alert with down on the fence world on fire wide on the track is hauling jewels the first of the leon van rensburg horses scorched earth is after that one and then Raffaella marlet and time capsule are next as they get to flight four which they're all over safely despite a bit of a Bad jump at the back by a fleet lift and a fleet lift and stable like compact body are a couple of lengths back of the rest of the field. But living the moment is still clear. Racing downhill now then. And leads by about five lengths to Jumping Jack Flash, who's a clear second. The Grey Hazel Rig Hawker has moved through into third. Then comes Splish Splash ahead of La Paz Midnight and then World on Fire. Then a gap of a length or so to Scorched Earth and Hauling Jewels and Time Capsule. Then Eaton Mess is getting a little bit closer. Redwood Edition is also making a forward move up the inside. The two Craig Allen horses, Clad Mambo and Raphael Marlette, are running together. And the back three of Christopher's Burner Compact Body and a Fleet Lift are a little bit detached from the remainder as they skip over flight five then they've still got over two miles to go so plenty of time for the race to develop and live in the moment is clear in the lead by about four lengths to jump in jack flash who's a clear second to hazel rig hawker who's a clear third then competing for fourth la paz midnight and splish splash world on fire and scorched earth and hauling jewels are three on line as they come up past the stand then and that should shortly Take the flight that will be the last on the next circuit. And live in the moment. We'll be leading over it with Jumping Jack Flash in second. And the Grey Hazel Rig Hawker third. And we'll safely over that one as well. The back three are getting a little bit more detached now. And they'll shortly be swinging left handed out for a full circuit of the track. The crowd not as big as it will be next week, of course. And live in the moment. We'll undoubtedly be back to take on quite a lot of these again I would think in the world hurdle and it's living the moment that's in the lead jumping jack flash is back in second hazel rig hawker is about five lengths back in third as we take a look from the other side of the track now scorched earth is moving forward gone past the joshua sutherland pair on the wide outside La past midnight is also trying to get into it as well with holding jewels now also getting going on the outside as they skip over number seven and it's still living the moment, but only by about a length and a half now to Jumping Jack Flash, who's back in second still. Hazel Rick Hawker has been third throughout for Darren Thompson. Scorched Earth is in fourth, then Splish Splash and La Paz Midnight World on fire after that as they take flight number eight. And they're all hurdling well at the moment, and the only ones you'd really count out of it are the back three. But it's living the moment that's in the lead by length led all the way so far they're racing down there over the ninth flight and racing down towards the final mile of the race then and it's jumping jack flash who's come to challenge for the lead and might just about shade it on the outside jumping jack flash and living the moment then share the lead with hazel rig hawker four lengths down in third then splish splash scorched earth and world on fire next then comes la paz midnight and hauling jewels time capsule is trying to get into it as well Raphael milet making a forward move so to redwood edition eaton mess tucked in the middle of the pack as they get over the tenth that's the third from home and they're all safely 
Bradley over that one as well with Jumping Jack Flash now three quarters of a length up on leaving the midnight second then comes Hazel Rig Hawker back in third and Splish Flash is fourth Scorched Earth is getting considerably closer hauling Jules is also now starting to make a run around the outside Raffaella Milet is also trying to get into the race as well and they're swinging their left handed and racing down towards the final couple of flights in this Cleve Hurdle and Jumping Jack Flash on the outside is just about a neck up but living the moment is immediately fighting back the one that's making a good move there is Splish Flash who's going to join Hazel Rig Hawker for a share of third, the Leon van Rensburg pair are running together alongside World on Fire, Raphael Amon and Redwood Edition are going to have to get going soon, Eaton Mess is trying to get into it as well, the second David Hooley runner stay alert is also making a move as they get over the second last, and over that one they go living the moment, from jumping Jack Flash, the field are beginning to close though now and here comes Scorched Earth, World on Fire, Splish Splash, Redwood Edition and Time Capsule still trying to run on as well, the Great hit a bit of a flat spot and is now backtracking through the field, stay alert and Eaton Mess around the outside coming through to challenge, they've only got one more flight to take, they're well inside the final three furlongs in there, and it's almost three in a line now, Scorched Earth, living the moment of world on fly, jumping Jack Flash under pressure back in fourth, Redwood Edition trying to get into it, stay alert, Splish Splash, Hazel Rig Hawker trying to fight back as well now then, as they come down towards this final flight, it's living the moment, who's back in the lead, but here comes Splish Splash, Scorched Earth, stay alert on the outside for another big run, run Raphael and Milet over the final flight they go, and it's Splish Splash who hits the front, Splish Splash from the Hoodie Bear, the great trying to get back into it as well, inside the final furlong, it's Splish Splash in the lead from Living in the moment and we'll stay alert. Raphael Amalet's not going to get there. It's Splish Splash in the lead. Stay alert. He's getting close and it's Splish Splash from Stay Alert. It's going to be a head bump as they get towards the line. Stay alert on the outside. Splish Splash is just holding on. It's close. It's close, but I think Splish Splash just held on from the fast finishing Stay Alert. It's going to be interesting to see this. It's on the nod, but I think. Splish Splash has got it, certainly got a share of it according to that, with David Hooley second and third, and Splish Splash wins it by a short head, with Stay Alert second, so Splish Splash the winner then for Joshua Sutherland, David Hooley second and third with Stay Alert and Live in the Moment, Raphael Amalette for Craig Allen, run started a bit late on that one, and World on Fire for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.